Hello my fellow creative spirits. So, it's been a long time since I've talked to you guys. Hello, how are you guys doing? Let me start off by explaining where I've been the past couple of months and why I haven't uploaded to YouTube. Now, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know that I have been creating still. And if you have been following me on there, you know that my art style has changed drastically from the last time that I posted to these past couple of months. It's been a lot of experimentation and a lot of new elements in my artwork. So I wanted to talk about why my art's changed, but first I did want to tell you guys where I've been and why I haven't uploaded because I miss you guys so 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 much. So the whole reason that I have been absent is because I've uh, decided to swear away all electronic devices for the past six months. I've just been living in a little hole in the middle of nowhere. So in reality, it all started back in, I want to say last year around June, July-ish. I was working on a portrait. It was the last piece that I had posted on my YouTube channel. It was the Bosnian portrait and the tripod was no longer connecting to my camera. First with that I was like okay I have to get that repaired and then after about a week then something else on my camera broke. So I've had this camera for a while and it was just getting to the point where I have to upgrade. So uh, I didn't have the funds to upgrade my camera, so what I ended up doing was having to wait a little while to save up some money to get a new camera. So fast forward about a month later, I finally got my new camera and with it I kind of became attached to not recording all the time. So it was like getting back into the habit of it was really hard and every time that I would record I would look and there was like crazy glare it felt like I had completely forgot how to record altogether um, just because I fell out of that habit <sighs> oh I got the burps so also was becoming attached to was the ability to kind of freely experiment without having to make something perfect and it was around this time that I started to experiment a little more with more colorful palettes. And um, because I was no longer having to worry about making a finished product, it, I kind of felt a little more free to do um, what I wanted. And I know I could have done that while recording, but um, because of that, I kind of decided to kind of just give myself a break from YouTube because I also felt like I wasn't creating quality content. Everything that I made after the Bosnian, I did actually make two videos after that and I didn't post them because I didn't like how the footage looked and and I also was just like, I want to put something in front of you guys that I think you guys might ap appreciate as well. So leading up to now I have been creating if you follow me on Instagram you can see that I've been making a lot in this new style which is the next topic that I wanted to get into now as far as the new topic as to why my art changed I've been getting this a lot on my Instagram and on my Facebook where people are like whoa how did you your art style change so much and this was a very long process. It started with me kind of losing interest in my own artwork and um, kind of wanting to incorporate new colors and there was a lot of failure on and off with like experimenting with color palettes and trying to figure out what works because I was, I used to be very deathly afraid of colors. I would work in very monotone color palettes and this was because every time that I tried to incorporate color I would start um, getting scared that I would ruin the piece and I still fear ruining the piece with adding certain elements but I guess I just kind of jumped into it and allowed myself to fail and allowed myself to make mistakes. 
So slowly over time, I kind of began to have a change in taste in art as well. Um, I noticed like when I go to art conventions, um, I was used to really only being exposed to art here locally in Orlando and being exposed to museums. So that was kind of a smaller bubble that um, I could see in art. And there were certainly some artists that I gravitate towards their work more. Um, but when I became exposed to a wide assortment of artists in places like Art Basel, I was able to kind of pinpoint exactly what elements of certain artists and why I'm drawn to them. Something that I found myself to really be drawn to was very illustrative works. So, and this was something that I felt that my own artwork was lacking. And so I kind of felt that reignited passion for art that I had felt before, um, but now towards these elements and these artists. And it made me curious as to like how they do it and what mediums they use and what is their techniques. From there, I found that there was a medium that a couple of artists that I really admire, they were using this thing called acrylic wash. And there was just something about it that was so vibrant and the finish of it was very beautiful. So I decided to give it a try on my own paintings and I fell in love instantly. I think the colors are unmatched with um, oil paint, at least in my, in my own personal experience. I know you can get very vibrant colors with oil paint, but the opaque matte finish is something that I couldn't get with oil paint. And so with experimenting with this new art style, I was like, oh, this just like op opens up a whole new um, range of possibilities. And so I just began playing with that. And then I started using what I liked about acrylic is that you tend to be able to layer things um, like with the acrylic gouache. I can put marker on top, I can put colored pencil on top, and then I can put more acrylic paint on top. So it definitely has a little more flexibility with mediums as opposed to oil paint where you can't paint acrylic on top of oil paint. But again, this is just me in this current moment and what I'm excited by. I found that everyone is drawn to different things. And if you know an artist that you admire their work or you admire how they do textures or how they do something, I think that you should always go out and just ask them. I think that they would be honored to give you a little bit of their own knowledge with a certain medium. So that is why my art style changed. I thank you all for being on this journey with me and taking interest in my ar own artwork. So that is why I changed my art style and also where I've been. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was entertaining or provided some insight in some way. And I hope that maybe it inspires you to try your own new technique. Maybe try a new medium or you don't even have to try a new medium. You can always just try a new technique. I also hope that it inspires you to go to more art events and see different styles of work, maybe even that's different from what you're used to seeing because I think that that also um, consuming art in all different forms is important for an artist to stay, to stay inspired and to stay excited for every day that you're working in the studio. And thank you so much for watching this time lapse of this piece. Um, as a little short story as to what what this piece is inspired by. The intro was me in Washington and when I was in Washington I saw some goats and they were just making these weird like screaming man sounds and it was really funny and I just wanted to paint myself as a goat because I just imagine goats as people and that's the kind of things that I imagine when I'm at a zoo. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye guys.